The overall intent is a small unit leadership cohesion. You know, we're all about training at the smallest unit and making sure they have a cohesive unit going into the next combat operation. And what we're doing is having them go through all the various things that they need to know to be an infantryman with machine guns, to be a combat lifesaver, to operate a radio, and do all the various things to include uh, casualty evacuation, nine lines, and in the end, we want to have our entire company be able to be interchangeable. So any Marine can switch out and do every single job in the company, and, and that's what they're striving for, and they're, they're doing a great job doing it. And the work is showing, uh, they've had a month to train for this first one. This is the first time we've done it at Transportation Support Company, and they're going to do it every single month. So every single month, they know what they're going to be evaluated on at the beginning of the month. The fire team leaders are building them up for that end of the month period. At the end, the fire team leaders are competing against each other, the squad leaders are competing against each other, and it's, uh, it's showing through their competitive nature, as being Marines, we're, we're all competitive, and uh, you can see them challenging themselves and each other to push themselves past those limits. Station one, basically it was utilizing the fire maneuver portion of the CFT uh, and the ammo can lifts. And after they were done, time started. They got their gear on, they're carrying a 240 with an A bag and an extra barrel, and they, they headed over to the, the motor pool. Over there at station two, they did timing and spacing on the 50 cal, as well as disassembling and assembly of a 240. The third station was behind the motor pool where they carried a tow bar and they rigged it onto a seven ton for time. Fourth station, they ran over to Engineer Point where they met up with the corpsman and they were thrown out a scenario where they had to tell the corpsman how they would take care of the casualty. The fifth station, they went over to the radio operators. They had a stretcher carry a casualty down to the cone, program a radio with the correct frequency, and give the casualty nine line with the Z-mist. After that was done, the last station was back here at the barracks. Uh, they executed a max rep of pull-ups in eight minutes, uh, as well as doing a 30 uh, question uh, Marine Corps knowledge exam. After that was done, time was, uh, was stopped, and uh, we'll calculate the score to see who's the winner. I like to see more of it. The Marine Corps is starting to move towards more of that, uh, trying to build uh, their Marines better, I think. It's something we need to really push people to, uh, to better themselves so that they can uh, perform proficiently at their uh, job and being a Marine.